Conversational Trader Joe's people are. They're so friendly. I mean, they act like you're actually friends. They're enthusiastic. <laughs> and I'm telling them about how my organic vegan chocolate chip cookies are the best chocolate chip cookies in the world. And he looks at me with these big, beautiful brown eyes and he says, How are you going to prove it? <laughs> but then, I started to feel, it started to feel like, like, like I was, I was, it started to feel like I was, I was stuck and it was really ironic because I had put myself in this situation. It wasn't like my parents told me to learn this form. I, I had chosen to come here and submit myself to a whole different world philosophy and way of being in the body and now, here I was, wearing this hot pink faux moogle costume and costume jewelry out the wazoo, and feeling like, but I, I had to be, I couldn't say anything. I was born to Jewish parents who practice Sufism, Islamic mysticism, I was raised on the poetry of Rumi while performing Israeli folk dance at festivals on the weekends. The Saint home, confused and wanting to feel a sense of belonging, I prayed, ancestors bring me to a place of home where I can feel feet connected to soil, like an umbilical cord coiling from my heart to the rhythms of rock sliding over tectonic plates. Dirty and no children. <laughs> you better hurry up, huh? <laughs> well, Grandma, I have a boyfriend, remember? And maybe he's the one. Oh, that's good. And he's Filipino. <laughs> no, Grandma, he's black. Would you mind if I married a black man? Black, yellow, white. You know, Nikki. We are all created equal. You should not discriminate. 